आंध्र प्रदेश राइस प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी मॉड्यूल फोर पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट ओवरव्यू दिस मॉड्यूल डील्स अबाउट वेरियस पेस्ट स्पेसिफिक टू आंध्र प्रदेश दैट डैमेजेस द क्रॉप एंड रिड्यूस द ईल्ड पेस्ट आर द मेजर थ्रेट्स टू क्रॉप ग्रोथ एंड हैव टू बी मैनेज इफेक्टिवली द सिम्टम्स एंड कंट्रोल मेजर्स फॉर एवरी पेस्ट हैज बीन लिस्टेड आउट ऑब्जेक्टिव टू नो अबाउट द डैमेज कॉज बाय पेस्ट symptoms and their control measures lesson 1 pests in rice gall midge stem borer and leaf folder gall midge orciola orizae wood mason diptera sesidomyide symptoms damage tillers turn into tubular galls which dry off without bearing panicles main external symptom is silver shoot or gall which resembles onion leaf fully developed gall is a silvery white hollow tube 1 cm wide and 10 to 30 cm long attack to rice seedlings leads to profuse tillering and these new tillers often become infested pet starts infestation from seed to bed to booting stage in main field larvae develop only on growing primordia yield loss is 0.5% for every unit percent increase in incidence three biotypes are noticed in india which are capable of damaging cultivars resistant to other populations of the same species control measures adopt early planting adjust planting time so that tillering is completed before 15th august grow resistant varieties like pothana divya kavya erramallelu kesava orugallu bhadrakali siva rudrama varsha surekha palguna nursery apply carbofuran or forad at 1 kg to 1.25 kg ai per hectare or spray monocrotophus at 0.5 kg ai per hectare or carbaryl 0.75 kg ai per hectare in endemic areas adopt seedling dip with chlorpyrifos planting to pre-tillering and mid-tillering apply carbofuran 0.75 kg ai per hectare or for it quinol fos or Isazofos granules at 0.6 kg AI per hectare or fipronil granules at 0.75 grams AI per hectare rice stem borer scirpophaga incertulus pyralidae lepidoptera symptoms larvae feed on green tissue of leaf sheath for 2 to 3 days bore into the stem at the nodal position and feed on inner tissue of plant under severe conditions it bores at the base and move upwards central leaf whorl does not unfold turns brown dries off lower leaves remain green larvae bore at the peduncle node white heads are the resultant effect damage is maximum at this stage control measures since the eggs are laid near the tip of the leaf blade clipping the seedlings before transplanting reduces the carry over of eggs from seed bed to the transplanted field harvesting at ground level or plowing after harvesting remove majority of larvae and pupae the use of light traps was recommended earlier but now this method is not advocated as many beneficial insects are also attracted and killed use of pheromone traps nowadays the sex pheromones are utilized for mass trapping of male moths resistant varieties sasiasri rnr446 ratna and kaveri were observed tolerant to this pest in andhra pradesh carbofuran 3g at 42 kg per hectare or for it 10 g at 12.5 kg per hectare to be applied 7 days after germination of seed or spraying of monocrotophos 
1.6 ml or chlorpyrifos 2.5 ml per liter or quinylfos 2 ml per liter at 10 days interval starting from 7th day after germination. Leaf Folder Naphylocrocus medinalis, Guinea Lepidoptera, Pyralidae Nature and Symptoms of Damage The larvae fold the leaves and scrape the green tissues of the leaves from within and cause scorching and leaf drying. Each larva destroys several leaves by feeding. In severe infestations, each rice plant may have several rolled leaves which restricts photosynthetic activity. At 17 to 26 percent of leaf damage, the loss in yield varies from 16 to 21 percent. Control measures: spraying of monocrotophores 1.6 ml, chlorpyrifos 2.5 ml, or quinalfos 2.5 ml, or acephate 1 gram, or carbaryl 3 grams, or cartap hydrochloride. 2 grams per liter of water to be sprayed 2 times at 10 days interval or apply car type hydrochloride 4G 10 kg per acre. Since larvae feed by hiding in leaf folds, the insecticide do not contact larvae. So, care has to be taken to unfold the damaged leaves before spraying for effective control. Lesson 2. Pests in Rice, Gundi Bug, Green Leaf Hopper, Hispa and Climbing Cutworm. Gundi Bug, Leptochorisa oratorius, Hemiptera alididae. Symptoms. Both nymphs and adults suck sap from the grain at the milk stage. Damage by nymphs is more compared to adults. Unfilled or partially filled grains with a black patch on affected grain. Average incidence 5 to 10 percent, severe 40 to 60 percent. Control measures Removal of weeds in the vicinity of paddy crop as the pest breeds on a variety of grasses prior to its migration to rice crop. Collection of the bugs by hand netting is suggested. Sweeping of rice plants with windows smeared with sticky material like castor oil. Spraying of monocrotophores 1.6 ml or endosulfan 2 ml per liter of water once at flowering and another at grain hardening stage or dusting of endosulfan 4% or carbaryl 5% at 25 kg per hectare in evening hours. If needed, Application has to be repeated after 10 days. Green Leaf Hopper Nephototics Virescence Homoptera Cisadilidae Symptoms The nymphs and adults cause direct damage to rice crop by sucking sap from leaf sheaths and blades. The feeding marks predisposed plants to fungal and bacterial infections. The affected leaves and plants turn to yellow color and growth is retarded. They indirectly act as vectors by transmitting virus diseases such as tongue row and yellow dwarf. They also feed on some grasses like Cynodon dactylon, Echinocloa cruzgali, and Eleusin indica, etc. Control measures Avoid excess application of nitrogenous fertilizer. Maintain Weed free field buns. Since green hoppers are vectors of virus diseases, use of insecticides having immediate knockdown effects are preferred. Soil application of carbofuran granules into the root zone at the time of planting or few days after planting helps in controlling tungro virus by preventing feeding of jacid vectors. Seedling root dip in 0 0.02 at chlorpyrifos solution for overnight 12 hours was recommended not only for this pest but also to other rice pests. In case of time shortage, addition of 1% urea to insecticide emulsion is suggested in which case root dip time can be reduced to 3 hours. 3. Hispa Dicla dispa amigera Oliver Coleptera chrysomelidae Symptoms Both grubs and adult beetles feed on rice plants. 
adult scrape chlorophyll first between the veins and the lamina. White parallel streaks on the leaves. Feed on veins also resulting in the formation of blotches on the leaves. In severe infestations, the affected leaves turn to brown and the field presents a dried up appearance. It was reported that a single adult beetle consumes about 25 square meters of leaf area in a day. A single grub was found to consume on an average 123.4 square millimeters of rice leaf in its lifetime. Control measures Grasses like Cynodon dactylon, Echnicloa colona, Echnicloa cruzgali, etc. were found as alternative hosts. Hence, field sanitation has to be adopted with timely weeding both in the field and on buns. Sweeping rice plants with windows coated with sticky materials may help to some extent in suppressing adult population. A rope soaked in kerosene and held by two men can be brushed across the foliage to kill his beetles. The degree of control, however, with this method is minimal. Clipping of tops of seedlings prior to planting removes not only stem borer eggs but also his eggs. Spraying of monocrotophores 1.6 ml or chlorpyrifos 2 ml or fosalone 2 ml or carbaryl 3 grams per litre of water. Ethifenfos AC at 7.0 grams AI per hectare or fipronil SC at 50 grams AI per hectare or apply carbofuran granules at 0 0.75 kg AI per hectare. 4. Climbing cutworm, Mythema separata, Walker, Lepidoptera noctuidae. Symptoms The early instar caterpillars feed on green leaves, lemma, and pallia of the developing grains as well as anthers of flowers. Mature larvae become gregarious and feed voraciously on young leaves at night. The final instar larvae cut off rice panicles from the peduncle. In severe infestations, the losses may go up to 60% or even more. Control Measures There are no effective biological methods of control to this pest except removal of alternative hosts in the vicinity of rice fields and harvesting at the ground level. Spraying of monocrotophores at 1.6 ml or endosulfan 2 ml or chlorpyrifos 2 ml along with 1 ml of dichlorphos per litre during evening hours after giving irrigation. Spray thoroughly with chlorpyrifos, dichlorophos, endosulfan or monocrotophos at 0.5 kg AI per hectare during afternoon hours.